The Prince's Foundation, which hands out funds to his favorite charities, gave cash to a project which encourages hope and positivity among young offenders through meditation and yoga. According to the Prince of Wales Charitable Foundation's annual report for 2018, the charity last year handed a small grant to the Prison Phoenix Trust, which encourages prisoners in the development of their spiritual welfare through the practices of meditation and yoga, working with silence and the breath. The charity claims yoga can help inmates feel less angry and aggressive, sleep better, and develop self-discipline and concentration. The trust was offered a grant to run five new classes and continue the seven existing classes with project in place across 88 prisons including Feltham, Portland, and Warrington. Yoga has several royal fans with the Duchess of Cornwall an advocate and the Duchess of Sussex previously revealing that yoga is my thing. Meanwhile, The Telegraph reports that the Prince's Foundation also gave more than £30,000 to a charity which looks after rare bees in Devon and £118,000 to Oxford Plant Sciences to research the behavior of pollinators in agricultural landscapes, according to The Telegraph. The largest grants were for Prince Charles's two key charity groups £1.3 million to the Prince's Foundation, and £500,000 to the Prince's Trust. The news comes after the Prince announced a streamlining of his charities before his 70th birthday last November. The changes signaled a new and expanded Prince's Trust group that will include the work of the Prince's Trust alongside a new network comprising activity previously carried out by the Prince's Charities Canada, Australia, New Zealand and the Prince's Trust International. This new group will continue the Trust's work in providing meaningful help to disadvantaged and vulnerable young people. In addition, in the forming of the Prince's Foundation, it will pull together other strands of his charitable work including the Dumfries House Trust, the Prince's Foundation for Building Community, the Prince's School for Traditional Arts and the Prince's Regeneration Trust. Explaining the changes, Clarence House sources stressed that the Prince, who turned 70 in November, was not lessening his charitable roles, nor was he preparing for the job of King. Instead, he was simply trying to save money, while also more effectively using his time. The Prince said, as I approach something of his milestone in my own life, I have had a chance to reflect. And he added, as I look at the results of the reorganization, I have a strong sense of optimism and anticipation for what more may be achieved. These changes do not mean I am stepping back from my charitable work or downsizing in any way it is simply an opportunity to work more efficiently and, I hope, to even greater effect.